بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسی فل دس از پاکستان انٹرنیشنل سکول فائف کنگڈم آف سعودی عربیا آئی ویلکم آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس فائیو ان ویژوئل لرننگ سسٹم سیشن ٹو تھاؤزینڈ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر اسٹارٹنگ اسلامک ایجوکیشن سیریز بک فائیو فار گریٹ فائیو یونٹ سیون لیسن ون دا گریٹ سیکریفائز دس از اوور تھرٹین ویڈیو آئی ایم محمد راشد عباس آئی ویلکم آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس فائیو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now we start the lesson, Unit 7, Stories of the Prophets, Qasas al-Anbiya. Lesson 1, The Great Sacrifice. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Unit 7 Stories of the Prophets Lesson 1 The Great Sacrifice My dear students in this chapter we will discuss about the great sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son Ismail alayhi salam You know my dear students Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us only for ibadah In the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Al-ladhi khalaka al-mawta wal-hayat, liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala. We came in this world as for exam. For our guidance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many messengers, start from Adam alayhi salam till Allah. In the last Khatam al-Anbiya, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. In this chapter, the great sacrifice is about the, the story of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son, Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam has two wives, Hajar alayhi salam and Sara alayhi salam. The main area of appointing as messenger, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ibrahim mosque Hebron in Palestine. By the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam left his wife, Hajar alayhi salam, in the area of Saudi Arabia in the city of Mecca. Many years later Ibrahim al-Islam returned to Mecca to see his son a grown man. He learned that Hajar had passed away in his absence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test Ibrahim alayhi salam's submission again. In a dream, the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was instructed to sacrifice his son Ismail to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salam told Ismail alayhi salam about the dream and both agreed to submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ismail alayhi salam lay prostrate with his forehead 
touching the ground while his father laid a sharp knife upon his neck that area was mina shaitan also appeared three times trying to prevent them from obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because before prophet ibrahim alayhi salam related the dream to his son ismail ibrahim alayhi salam found his son was ready to offer himself for sacrifice ismail alayhi salam said to his father inshallah you will find me among the steed fast but shaitan appeared three times shaitan shaitan trying to prevent them from obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala each time they stoned him and drove him away while his father laid a sharp knife upon his neck at this moment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called down o ibrahim you have done my biding and now you will be rewarded a large ram appeared as an alternative sacrifice and instead of killing his son ibrahim slaughter the sheep to the glory of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this was the exam of hazrat ibrahim alayhi salam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to check ibrahim alayhi salam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his offer and saved his son in memory of this remarkable event the pilgrim in hajj stood three pillars in mina and sacrificed animal and all muslim all over the world celebrate eid al adha on that day the slaughtering of sacrificial animals is a symbolic act of worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not require the flesh and blood but he does accept our offering and good intention so my dear students we should follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this story we understand that every person should obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In the Holy Quran Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says their meat will not reach Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala nor will their blood but what reach to him is pity from you thus have we subjected them to you that you may magnify Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for that to which he has guided you and give good tied in to the doors of gods indeed allah defends those who have believed indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like all who are treacherous and ungrateful prophet ibrahim alayhi salam came back to his second wife hajar alayhi salam and his son ismail alayhi salam whom he had left at makkah years before he found that ismail alayhi salam had become a nice looking young boy one night ibrahim alayhi salam saw in a dream that he was slaughtering his son ismail alayhi salam for the acceptance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala A prophet's dream is always true and both of them understood that the sacrifice was demanded of the father and the son it was a trial for both prophet ibrahim alayhi salam related the dream to his son ismail alayhi salam ibrahim found his son was ready to offer himself for sacrifice ismail alayhi salam said to his father inshallah you will find me among the street fast they went out to mina for this purpose the two of them walked side by side 
the young lad was full of life and energy and the old man was full of determination and wisdom their purpose was to carry out the order of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shaitan appeared three times trying to prevent them from obeying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala each time they stoned him and drove him away ismail alayhi salam suggested to his father that he tie him to facilitate the sacrifice ibrahim alayhi salam placed his beloved son ismail alayhi salam face down on the ground to slaughter him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was very pleased with their intention to execute his order allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel jibril alayhi salam with a ram to slaughter in a place of ismail alayhi salam this ram had been pasturing for 40 years in paradise it had been created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this event ibrahim alayhi salam slaughtered the ram in place of ismail alayhi salam ibrahim alayhi salam was willing to offer the dearest thing he had in sacrifice for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his offer and saved his son in memory of this remarkable event the pilgrims in hajj stone three pillars in mina and sacrifice animals and muslims all over the world celebrate eid al adha eid of sacrifice every year the slaughtering of sacrificial animals is a symbolic act of worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not require the flesh and blood but he does accept our offering and good intention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the exalted says in the holy Quran Unit 7 Stories of the Prophets Lesson 1 The Great Sacrifice Question number 1 What did Ibrahim alayhi salam see in his dream Answer Ibrahim alayhi salam saw in his dream that he was slaughtering his son Ismail alayhi salam for the acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The answer of question number 1 on page 82 start from the second paragraph one night Ibrahim alayhi salam saw in a dream that he was slaughtering his son Ismail alayhi salam for the acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the answer of question number 1 Question number 2 What was the response of Ismail alayhi salam when his father proposed to sacrifice him 
answer. Ismail Islam said to his father, Inshallah you will find me among the steadfast. The answer of question number two starts from page 82 in this paragraph. Ismail Islam said to his father, Inshallah you will find me among the steadfast. So this is the answer of question number B, 2. Question number 3, C part, who tried to prevent the sacrifice? Answer, Shaitan tried to prevent the sacrifice three times. Answer of question 3, Shaitan appeared three times trying to prevent them from obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Answer of this question on page 82. Question number D. How did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty save Ismail alayhi salam? Answer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel Jibreel alayhi salam with a ram to slaughter in place of Ismail alayhi salam. Answer of this question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Angel Jibreel al Islam with ram to slaughter in place of Ismail. This answer is on page 83 in the start of the page. So, this is the answer of D part. The answer of last question of this chapter lesson one the great sacrifice why do muslims celebrate eid al-adha answer muslims celebrate eid al-adha in memory of the remarkable event the great sacrifice by ibrahim alayhi salam answer of the last question muslim all over the world celebrate eid al-adha Eid of sacrifice every year. So this is the answer of last question. Muslims celebrate Eid al-Adha in memory of the remarkable event, the great sacrifice by Ibrahim alayhi salam. In the last, I advise you, all the students, my dear, love each other. You know this hadith and the authority of Anas bin Malik ta'ala anhu, who reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, none of you truly believes until he wishes for his brother what he wishes for himself. So my dear students, Respect your parents, help them in their daily tasks, talk with each other. You know in the Hadith and the authority of Abu Dhar, who reported that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Don't disdain a good deed, no matter how small it may seem, even if it is your meeting with your Muslim brother with a cheerful Respect your parents in the light of Hadith and the authority of Abu Bakr who said 
Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said shall i not inform you of the greatest of the major sins three times they said of course o messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said associating partner with allah disobedience to the parents then he said reclining and the false statement he kept repeating them until i said if only he would stop so my dear students respect your parents and don't tell a lie you know the hadith abdullah bin masud radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said truth leads to piety and piety leads to jahanna a man persists in speaking the truth till he is enrolled with allah as truthful falsehood leads to vice and vice leads to the fire and a person persists on telling lies until he is enrolled as a liar so my dear students you should speak every time truth the saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are filled with wisdom and guidance for mankind he did not utter a word other than it was deliberate and with a purpose through the study of his hadith we can learn more about our purpose in this world we should say our prayer five times daily recite from the holy verses of quran every day regularly stay home stay safe may your shadow never be less may allah subhanahu wa taala bless you all allah hafiz